Hello, welcome for the fifth session of uh, Transport Layer under VTU e Shikshana program. I thank VTU e Shikshana program for uh, providing me the opportunity to teach uh, computer networks and security. In the last session, we were discussing about uh, stop and wait and uh, sliding window protocol. In this session, we will understand what is go back in ARQ. Right. Uh, types of sliding window protocol. The sliding window ARQ protocols are of two categories. One is go back in ARQ and another one is selective repeat ARQ. In this session, we will understand what is go back in ARQ. Okay. In the last session, we already discussed what is stop and wait protocol and sliding window protocol. Right. Stop and wait protocol is after sending uh, each frame uh, we, we have to wait for an acknowledgement when we receive the acknowledgement we have to send the next frame so the waiting period is indefinite if uh, the timer is uh, implemented before the timer expires the acknowledgement should come in uh, uh, go back in erq the concept is different go back in erq and the selective repeat erq are uh, two types of sliding window erq Sliding window ARQ, that is automatic repeat request, are of two categories. See, coming to the go back in ARQ, see here the diagram shows you can send the frames and afterwards you have to receive acknowledgement for the sent frame. After sending each frame, you have to start the timer and you can send a multiple frames. Right. After that, you should uh, get the acknowledgement here. The acknowledgement is not individual. The acknowledgement is cumulative. Right. You have to fix the uh, sliding window uh, size. Based on that, you have to send the uh, frames to the receiver. After sending uh, frame zero, the timer starts and uh, you have sent uh, uh, zero, one, two, three frames and you have received acknowledgement for uh, frame zero frame one and if uh, the acknowledgement of frame two is lost you have to send all the frames present in the current window see when the timer expires you have to send all the frames present in the current window let's see how the protocol works see first what is go back in erq in go back in erq n is the sender window size suppose we say that go back n uh, that is uh, 3, uh, n value is 3, which means that the 3 frames can be sent at a time before expecting the acknowledgement from the receiver. See, here go back n, n value is 3, which means 3 frames you can send at a time before receiving the acknowledgement for the first frame. So here it uses the concept of pipelining. What is pipelining? See, it uses the principle of uh, protocol pipelining in which the multiple frames can be sent before receiving the acknowledgement of the first frame. So pipelining has the following uh, consequences for reliable data transfer uh, protocol. Uh, what are those consequences? That is, the range of the sequence number must be increased since each uh, in a transit packets must have a unique sequence number. So, uh, the sequence number will be there for each packet in the pipeline and the sender and receiver sites of the sender and receiver sites of the protocol may have to buffer more than one packet. It is one of the uh, things present in the pipeline of reliable data transfer protocol and the range of the sequence number needed and the buffering requirements will depend on the way of data transfer protocol and uh, the pipeline protocol is uh, functionally correct that is it will deliver uh, packets correctly and in order in all situations okay you all know there are two approaches one is go back in and selective repeat right in uh, go back n uh, if we have 
five frames and the concept is uh, go back three which means that uh, three frames can be sent that is frame number one frame number two frame number three can be sent before expecting the acknowledgement of frame number one so in go back uh, n or the concept is you can send multiple frames at a time and the acknowledgement is cumulative not uh, individual after that uh, you can send the next set of frames av available in the buffer so uh, the sending window size enables the sender to send multiple frames without receiving the acknowledgement of the previous one this point you have to remember uh, it is very important in uh, go back n concept that is the sending window size and the receiving window size you have to understand the receiving window size is uh, one and uh, the sending window size is uh, n in go back n that is the sending window size enables the sender to send multiple frames without receiving the acknowledgement of the previous frame so the receiving window enables the receiver to receive multiple frames and acknowledge them the receiver keeps track of incoming frame sequence number here the concept of sorting will be there at the receiving side when the sender sends all the frames in a window that is it checks up to what sequence number it has received positive acknowledgement so uh, this is uh, very much important uh, right uh, that is the receiving window enables the receiver to receive multiple frames and acknowledge them the receiver keeps track of incoming frames sequence number when the sender sends all the frames in window uh, it checks up to what sequence number it has received positive acknowledgement that is after sending all the frames in the current window it will check whether the acknowledgement has been received for the sent frames at the sender side if uh, uh, negative acknowledgement is received or uh, if acknowledgement is not received for the sent frame it sends all the frames present in the current window so if all frames are positively acknowledged then the sender sends next set of frames if sender finds that it has received negative or has not received any acknowledgement for a particular frame it retransmit all the frame after which it does not receive any positive acknowledgement and the concept is very simple here that is it sends all the uh, uh, frames present in the current window if uh, any uh, frame has not received uh, the acknowledgement uh, present in the current window so next uh, we will continue the uh, concept of go back n that is in go back n erq the frames are numbered sequentially so as go back n erq sends the multiple frames at a time it sends uh, multiple frames uh, at a time that requires the numbering approach to distinguish the frame from another frame and these numbers are known as sequence number that is sequential number in go back in your queue uh, if there are multiple frames for all frames you have to uh, put a sequence number so the frames are numbered sequentially as go back in your queue sends the multiple frames at a time and it requires the numbering approach to distinguish one frame from another frame and these numbers are known as sequence number so the number of frames that can be sent at a time totally depends on the size of the sender's window so if the sender's uh, window size is 4 then it will send 4 frames at a time so we can have uh, n number of frames that can be sent at a time before receiving the acknowledgement from the receiver here the number of uh, frames uh, to be sent is depending on the uh, sending window size that is sender's window size uh, so uh, maximum number you can set that is the number of frames that can be set uh, that is based on the sender window and the number of frames that can be sent at a time totally depends on the size of the sender's window so we can say that 
Now, n is the number of frames that can be sent at a time before receiving the acknowledgement from the receiver. You can send multiple frames uh, based on the value of uh, n, and uh, you can uh, receive cumulative acknowledgement uh, for the frame sent. Next, consider the example here. The sequence number of the outbound frames, that is, frames that is uh, moving away from the sender depends upon the size of the sender's window depends upon the size of the sender window this you have to keep in mind uh, if uh, the sender window size is 4 then 4 frames you can send uh, at a time suppose the sender's window size is 2 and we have 10 frames to send then the sequence number will not be 1 2 3 4 5 okay let's understand this with an example uh, now uh, consider n is the sender window size. If the size of the sender window is 4, uh, then you can represent that in powers of 2, that is 2 to the power of 2. Then this 2 is the number of binary bits in the sequence number. That is, if the size of the sender's window is 4, if you represent that in powers of 2, that is 2 to the power of 2, then the sequence number will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on uh, i have understood see here this two represent uh, the number of uh, bits in the sequence number the number of binary bits in the sequence number uh, the number of uh, bits in the sequence number is two to generate the binary sequence 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. that is 0 1 2 3 so uh, this is how the uh, concept of go back n protocol works that is n is the sender's window size n is the sender's uh, window size and if the size of the sender's window size is 4 then the sequence number will be 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 and so on and uh, the number of bits in the sequence number is 2 that is uh, binary bits to generate the binary sequence 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 because this 0 0 represents 0 0 1 represents 1 1 0 represents 2 1 1 represents 3 this is in decimal this is in uh, binary this is the sequence number represented in decimal this is the sequence number represented in uh, binary see consider the working of uh, go back in erq in the first step see observe the diagram here see there are 10 frames in the buffer and the sliding window size is 4 uh, that is 0 1 2 3 if we start from 0 it ends the uh, at 3 that is max size minus 1 uh, window size is 4 sliding window size is 4 so there are uh, 4 frames in the window you can send 4 frames at a time firstly the sender will send the first 4 frames to the receiver that is 0 1 2 3 and now the sender is expected to receive the acknowledgement of the 0th frame now you consider the figure observe the figure carefully there are 10 buff 10 frames in the buffer and the sliding window size is 4 so sender can send uh, 4 frames at a time and uh, it will uh, wait for the acknowledgement for the 0th frame it wait for the acknowledgement for the 0th frame now let's assume that the receiver has sent the acknowledgement for the 0 frame and the receiver has successfully uh, received it see uh, the sender send 4 frames because the sliding window size is 4 and uh, uh, the uh, receiver uh, send acknowledgement for zeroth frame then the sender receives the acknowledgement and the sliding window moves towards uh, left the next frame is 4 the next uh, frame to be sent is 4 see the sliding window uh, moves towards uh, uh, left when uh, the acknowledgement for zeroth frame is uh, received uh, right the sender will send the next frame that is 4 and the window slide containing 4 frames those are 1, 2, 3, 4 right next after receiving the acknowledgement for 0th frame the next frame to be sent is 4 uh, that is uh, sent by the sender to the receiver next observe the receiver will then send the acknowledgement for frame number 1. After receiving the acknowledgement, the sender will send the next frame that is 
frame number 5 and the window will slide having four frames 2 3 4 5 so after receiving the acknowledgement for the uh, first frame the window moves towards uh, left that's why it is called as sliding window it slides towards uh, left then the next frame to be sent is 5 and uh, the number of frames in the current window is 2 3 4 5 so uh, after receiving the acknowledgement for the first frame the sender sends the next frame that is 5 uh, right uh, and the window will slide uh, having four frames uh, that is 2 3 4 5 next observe Uh, now let's assume that the receiver is not acknowledging the frame number 2 uh, that is either the frame is lost or the acknowledgement is lost uh, instead of sending the frame number 6 the sender go back to 2 which is the first frame of the current window retransmits all the frame in the current window that is 2 3 4 uh, 5 is uh, retransmitted again that's why the name indicates go back and transmit all the frames present in the current window see what happens here uh, the sender has received acknowledgement for the zeroth frame first frame and uh, receiver will receive the acknowledgement to it will send the uh, sorry receiver will receive the frame 2 and it will send the acknowledgement uh, for uh, uh, frame 2 but uh, the acknowledgement uh, may lost uh, uh, due to some uh, error in the channel in that case Uh, the sender will send all the frame present in the current window instead of sending the frame number 6 6 then the sender will uh, retransmit all the frames present in the current window that is 2 3 4 5 5 so uh, observe here uh, the sliding window uh, consists of four frames uh, the second uh, frame acknowledgement has lost in the channel in that case the sender will send all four frames present in the current window those are 2 3 4 5 so instead of sending the frame number 6 the sender go back to 2 uh, this is the first frame in the current window which is the first frame of the current window retransmit all the frames in the current window that is 2 3 4 5 see that's what go back n Uh, see go back to first frame in the current window and retransmit all the frame present in the uh, current window so uh, when the uh, frame uh, acknowledgement is lost it will send all the frame present in the current window see all uh, four frames 2 3 4 5 has been sent uh, by the sender to the receiver in this uh, way the go back and erq works and the important points related to go back n erq is in go back n uh, n determines the sender's window size and the size of the receiver window is always one you have to remember uh, the uh, sender as uh, uh, sliding window and uh, uh, receiver has the receiver window and the size of the receiver window is always one in go back n n determines the sender's window size that is sender sliding window size because uh, after sending uh, every frame it uh, slides towards left uh, after receiving the acknowledgement it will send the next frame present in the buffer and the size of the receiver window is always one in the go back n erq next point is it does not consider the corrupted frames and simply discards them it will reject the frame Uh, which is corrupted so next is it does not accept the frames which are out of order and uh, rejects the out of order frame next if the sender does not receive the acknowledgement it leads to the retransmission of all the current window frames because of this traffic increases in the network these are some of the points related to go back n erq the first point is Uh, end determines the sender window size and uh, if the frame is corrupted the receiver uh, rejects the frame and if the frame is out of order then also receiver discards the frame if the sender does not receive acknowledgement it retransmits all the frame presents in the uh, current window 
these are some of the points related to go back chain and uh, coming to the note there are two kinds of acknowledgement uh, which are uh, cumulative acknowledgement and independent acknowledgement the two kinds of acknowledgement namely cumulative acknowledgement and uh, independent acknowledgement plays very important role in the network traffic so when it comes to the cumulative acknowledgement cumulative acknowledgement means only one acknowledgement for many packets so one acknowledgement is used for many packets in cumulative acknowledgement and the main advantage is less traffic for example if you send uh, four friends then you are going to gain oh, then you are going to receive one acknowledgement for all the uh, four friends because of this number of uh, 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 traffic in the uh, network will be reduced a disadvantage is less reliability as if one ack is lost then uh, all the packets sent are lost so uh, we have to be very careful if you use cumulative acknowledgement cumulative acknowledgement means uh, uh, for multiple frames you are going to receive one acknowledgement and uh, the advantage is the less traffic the disadvantage is the less reliability this is uh, the main uh, uh, concept of cumulative acknowledgement coming to the independent acknowledgement if every packet is going to get acknowledgement independently then it is called as independent acknowledgement that is for every packet you are going to get acknowledgement uh, here the reliability is high but the disadvantage is traffic also increases in the network so uh, there is a pros and cons in uh, every acknowledgement in cumulative acknowledgement um, the traffic is less and the reliability is also less and uh, coming to the in, uh, independent acknowledgement for every pack, packet you are going to get the acknowledgement here reliability is more and uh, the traffic also uh, increases in the network for every packet you have to receive acknowledgement because of that uh, traffic in the network increases and uh, reliability is uh, more in independent acknowledgement uh, stop and wait erq uses independent acknowledgement go back and uses cumulative acknowledgement in cumulative acknowledgement one acknowledgement you can send for uh, multiple frames uh, for independent acknowledgement for every packet you have to receive acknowledgement independently see the diagram shows cumulative acknowledgement and independent acknowledgement if you send four frames you are going to get the acknowledgement uh, here the acknowledgement number of pi indicates that uh, the receiver is ready to receive the frame number pi so uh, this is how the cumulative acknowledgement works and uh, it is uh, less reliable and uh, it uh, avoids the traffic it controls the uh, traffic in the network it controls the congestion and it also uh, uh, reduce the traffic in the network here for every packet you are going to receive acknowledgement for every frame individual acknowledgement is used for frame number 1 uh, you are receiving 2 uh, for frame number 2 uh, you are receiving the acknowledgement 3 for frame, frame number 3 you are receiving the acknowledgement 4 that is if one um, see if this is uh, what uh, one when frame number 1 is received uh, it will send the acknowledgement 2 that is i am ready to receive uh, the frame number at the receiver side so uh, the next number you are going to get as a acknowledgement okay this is uh, about uh, the community acknowledgement and independent acknowledgement okay thank you we will uh, continue in the next uh, session